Ooh, battle for doctor. Hello and welcome guys to another video here of the Battlefield Doctor, that's me. And here behind me, uh, well, if you are following my channel, then you are already knowing that I'm just right now starting my uh, tour, my touristic tour, just in the neighborhood, if you want to call it like this. Uh, this behind me is the tax office. Uh, but uh, this building has been the monastery of Hirsau, which is currently a part of Kalf now. So here you can also see we have some uh, big hills over there. Uh, and yeah, so we are here in the Black Forest area. And here, here in this part of the monastery, there's the tax office located. And well, we were just uh, going over here now. Here you can see the old uh, balcony and everything. There is the gate of the uh, monastery, so the entrance. But well, guys, so let me get over it. Uh, well, actually, I meant uh, let's, <laughs> let's go over to it. No, not, not, let's, not that in getting over it. But anyway, um, you guys, you will know what I mean. And yeah. So here you can see this balcony that I was talking about. It's also looking like you can uh, go up there, maybe, maybe not, because well, it's uh, maybe part of the building. So and here, so here there is the entrance, and just around there there is the ruined part of the monastery. But so well, guys, we are going on. Sometimes it's seeming like the more I'm talking, the more I'm talking wrong. But well guys, now I'm just a little bit uh, closer to the gate. And so, well, maybe you can see it. So yeah, here you can see the, uh, the ruin and here's the entrance, the gate. And there is also something and, and I can hear a crow. But well, let's get into the area of the monastery of Hirsau, guys. So here you can see this is also an old timber construction so from the middle age, medieval times. Here's also something. So this is more the cleric stuff because of the, uh, well, back of the days there has been some different here in Europe so the clerics and the aristocrats they were the people with the money most likely yeah. so here's the coat of arms of I'm thinking this must be the coat of arms from here now and then and here you can see an overview about this area so we have some romantic stuff gothic renaissance and the destroyed thing and the buildings so where are we right now? We are. That's a good question. Uh, so well, this here must be the, the ruin. So I'm guessing we are somewhere here on the bottom. I'm thinking most probably. Oh well, we will just take a little walk there, and uh, I will show you what we have here. So this, by the way, has been in a Benedictine uh, monastery, St. Peter and Hall. It's the same name, actually, like of um, like of the church in Kauf. So here we don't have something like that. So here, guys, we can take a walk here or there. So this is just the silent place of the monastery. Here you can, by the way, see this is the yeah the tax office so that's where the people are not really loving to <laughs> get in but well guys um that's getting a little bit better overview because otherwise you will think what is the battle doctor doing here so this is the just at the entrance this is the building of the tax office of Kalf, of the entire county of Kalf. and this here is does the stand something now but this is of course also still a building of the monastery, actually everything here. And here you can see something that's also really beautiful, guys. There's an old sun clock. So what time does it show? 
Um, so, according to that, we are at around 11 o'clock, and this is even right because we are really close to 11 o'clock. And over there, there's another, well, let me call it a tower. Well, we are not at a castle ruin, so this is most probably not a watchtower. Perhaps there has been the the bell to to ring the people to say hello, people. All the monks, please come up here. So, and here, this is looking like they had some horses over there. I would say. And here on the left side, this is again the building of the tax office. And I could imagine that the uh, the highest cleric person of that monastery was living there as a residence. Or maybe it has been the guest house, maybe. Well, so when seeing this, you can just start to dream what was everywhere, what was it and what wasn't it. Also, there are some buildings. There's a little fountain, as you can see here. And here are the ruins. So, and what is this? So, here, here we're having some information. So, this thing, and it's really old, guys. So, it's from the 16th century. This is the entry to the, to the, uh, um, God, what hof is meaning, uh, well, so the, 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 the area around of a palace. So this is actually a palace. This is the hunting or, the, or hunter's palace. But here, guys, here are the ruins of the old monastery. So you can see it here as well. Also really interesting guys and here we have it as well so this is also a touristic place here are also a few tourists I've just heard them they are not talking in German and they are looking like tourists as well and here again an overview about the area here I've seen also tourists in Calf, by the way, even from China. So it seems like uh, Chinese people are also visiting Calf. And now thinking uh, the battlefield doctor wasn't visiting his uh, hometown this often or not for the touristic attractions. Even he is just living there for several years. <laughs> but well, I've been to the monastery once before. And here you can get a better look to the uh, old tower here. And of course I'm also showing you a little bit about what we have here now. So this is seeming like this has been the barn for the horses, but now it's a cafe. I'm thinking this building there is uh, again the um, the tax office. So what else do we have here? So there's also a building. It's really nice to see all of these buildings over here. There's a little fountain, but I'm he I'm not hearing any water coming out. Yeah, it's empty. Maybe the monastery didn't pay for the water bill. <laughs> oh, and here's another gate, as you can see here. Didn't know that. So what is this? So this is the farmhouse. So there's the the Protestant uh, Protestant. Um, what is it called? Priest is uh, living. the house crying on but 
the, the information here is not in English and you cannot hear a lot uh, read a lot about this stuff here and here guys this is the tower again it's just seeming it's just only the tower without anything uh, built around it but maybe there have has been something because well overall everything is a ruin and it's looking like you can see the arches there so maybe there has been another building before there's another old timberwood construction house also interesting guys and let's go on so so at places like these you can also always getting into daydreams about everything what has happened here and what is here so take a look here so this old wall was interesting but i'm thinking this is private property maybe but there's also still a part of the wall as you can see here it's also beautiful and here's some nature stuff as you're remembering this is food for cattle, livestock, like as also horses and so on. And once again, here's the tower. Maybe I can find out uh, what building is uh, meaning what stuff. And I will just put it into the description as, the, as a uh, chapter. So you will know a little bit more. This here is looking like also like a ruin so this old monastery is a ruin here as you can see probably just uh, to get the stones for the people to build their own houses that's something that quite often is actually happening so when you're seeing uh, something like as ruins and thinking there were the knights just fighting for it then it's quite often not the case it's most likely destroyed for yeah, well, getting the construction material for the people when everything was given up by the aristocrats or the clerics. Ah, so here I'm reading, this was the monastery church, St. Peter and Paul, and it was from the year 1091. And so this has been here, actually, the uh, church. And, well, this all, it also burned down in 1692 and like I told you the stones here were just uh, put away from this ruin as construction material but this is now really a lovely garden so this actually seems to have been uh, an entire part of a building so not just a wall but maybe i could be wrong because i'm not knowing uh, the thing for one person but um, at least it's uh, well it's also actually looking like a garden well i'm talking and talking and i'm knowing nothing to be pretty honest <laughs> But I still hope that you are enjoying this tour with me, although I'm really a bad host. Uh, there you can also see some seats and stuff. They are doing some, uh, some open air um, cinema here in the evenings. So well, here's something else. So there's also still an arch. Yeah, and take a look over here. I mean, it's kind of looking like it could have been something that was just going higher up. And yeah, because if you're looking here, it's just like there has been more. This for sure has been an entire building over there. Maybe this here as well. Or it was the place where the monks we're having their gardens to, to be gardenings 
to have some food, everything possible, guys. But on the other hand, I would say that this year is also looking like from a building. So let's go down to there. Well, there are stairs. So, ah, here's some information, guys. So, well, you can keep on dreaming about this ruin. So this has been a chapel here, a holy chapel. But well, now it's only a ruin for quite a long time. Probably also since the end of the 17th century and there has been a big fire around there. So it even has been here just curious why there has been this big fire because this is also not just a, a minute far away from the town of Kalf but there must have been a reason why everything was burning down okay people left their trash over there not so nice So this uh, monastery building here is looking like a church. This is still intact. But here the all the rest, well the tower there, this is the one with the uh, sun, uh, sun clock. So, well, let's have a little walk over here, just around the a ruin here. This is really a church. I may go inside of it. Nowadays there are no more um, no more monk, no more monks, so no worries. I'm not disturbing anyone here. I'm praying. It's also really beautiful, guys. So it's called the Kreuzgang, so it's from 1474. This is Gothic, by the way, guys. So here's some information about the old construction. This is really old, guys. Just imagine that the monks were just walking around here. Of course, if this also has been a building, then not with this much of shadow from the trees, because these have most likely come there later. This is also really interesting, guys. So guys, I'm not only showing you uh, the stuff from the uh, classic car shows, I'm also showing you some other stuff as you can see now. So and here's again the tower with the sun clock and you can also notice there, um, so well, let me zoom in. So um, no, where's my finger now? Yeah, so here you can also notice that there has been something attached to the building. So it's just a ruin.